Hello friends and welcome to my channel. I am Cher and we are vlogging today. We're going to be taking you on a trip to St. Augustine, Florida. St. Augustine is located um, a little bit south of Jacksonville, Florida, which is located on the northeast coast of Florida. So this is Jacksonville here. We are passing through. Um, we're going to head down I-95 south and go a little bit further south down to stay at St. Augustine Beach. And we ended up staying at what's called Beecher's Lodge Condominiums. So this you can rent as a VRBO. It's located a little bit more south of St. Augustine Beach, um, a little bit north of Flagler Beach, but along that east coastline of Florida. And this is the condo area. These are Some of these are available for rent um, through VRBOs or Air, Airbnbs. And what's nice about them is they have oceanside views. There's also a pool, um, a nice little stay. And this is inside our condo. Very tight, but just fine for two people. Come in here and a little kitchen when you walk in. And here is uh, the living area, little dining nook. And the best part is the balcony view. So we were right over the pool. Um, have a little wall there, but I kind of like it for the privacy. And of course you can't see the ocean at night right now, but a great ocean view out over the pool area. Just wonderful little spot to wake up to in the morning. So nice little stay here. It does have an elevator, you know, with us being on the third floor and, um, you know, a kitchen where you can cook. Here is the bedroom. Um, very, very tight, but again, it worked, you know, for two. And the best part is the morning view. Absolutely gorgeous. A little morning reading time and sipping on coffee. This is just a favorite time, a favorite part of vacation. So we're about to get a late breakfast. It's like 10.30 right now. But that's how we how we roll on vacation. We sleep in and then wait till we're hungry and we'll get going looking for breakfast. So we're gonna see what's around the area. Now we are staying, um, this is a little south of um, St. Augustine Beach. It's almost, I wouldn't say it's closer to Daytona, but we're kind of in the middle between um, St. Augustine and Daytona beaches. And there were a few little quaint shops around the area. I'm just sitting here waiting because I got dressed first. <laughs> so um, the weather is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely perfect. It's just sunny as can be. 60s in the morning, 80s in the afternoon, and it, the sun, you know, you can, you can feel it on the balcony. So I had to go sit in the shady part, but then it's very chilly at night with the wind. So just the perfect weather. We are here at the very end of April. Um, tomorrow is May 1st, so beginning of May, and Monday is my birthday, May 2nd. Um, so anyway, just to kind of give you a framework of like what times you want to come, this is like probably the perfect time to come. Absolutely beautiful, and it's supposed to be sunny, perfect weather, not raining, storming, nothing. So anyway, we're going to go looking for breakfast. And here is another view from a uh, balcony from our condo, just the front view, pretty little view of the area. Okay, and now we're just heading south. I believe it's A1A, which A1A usually runs south along the coastline, and that's where the condos are located as well. So we're just taking a little trip down A1A. We're actually crossing county lines into Flagler County and looking for food. We're looking for a food truck that hangs out on the beach. We thought we'd love that experience, but just some gorgeous views along the way, lots of boating, gorgeous houses. This is a dolphin center here. Um, we might come back with the kids, it's like an aquarium center. And here's the little park. 
a little park where it seems like there's a public beach on one side so there's parking for um, beaches around but then this is where the food truck hangs out so this is a really cool little spot So I believe this little spot is called Reggae Surf Cafe. They come serve you your food after you order it from the truck, as you can see here. And you get to sit and enjoy breakfast or lunch. Just delicious options. I got the avocado toast. So good. And I got some egg put on it separately as well, just to give me some extra protein. And then after stuffed bellies, we headed back north on A1A again. This time we headed up into actual St. Augustine Beach. There's where the turn is to the beach. And then we had to come to Winn-Dixie. There's a Winn-Dixie here in the St. Augustine Beach area, the closest grocery store, because we forgot a couple things that we needed. And um, we're across the street there from the turn to St. Augustine Beach. I just figured I'd show you a little bit of what it's like here in the St. Augustine area, and then turning back into Beecher's Lodge during the daylight so you can see what it looks like in the day. And then we are headed down to the beach area to just hang out on the beach the rest of the day. Really nice little view down here. I love this spot. It's kind of got a little inlet area. And then there's kind of a, a keypad system to get you back in the gate. <laughs> and at this beach, you can actually drive on the beach. So there's a lot of cars, as you can see lined up over there, you really probably need four wheel drive. Um, this tends to be a little more on the East Coast beaches than what you see on the Gulf Coast beaches where we're closer to where we live. Nothing like kicking back at the beach, getting to read a book you have not been able to get to for a long time, and just chill for the afternoon. taking a little stroll around too. Like I said, the weather was just perfect, but it almost got a little chilly, so I put on a jacket. But just a beautiful stroll, such a beautiful day, just a perfect, perfect beach day. All right, and then we went in search of dinner. So we actually went to the edge of a street in um, St. Augustine Beach that had a restaurant called The Beachcomber. It was wonderful, but huge line and not a whole lot of parking. They actually had to have somebody directing parking because it's so busy. And while you wait, you can go out to the beach as well and wait for your turn. 
And here's the very small little parking lot that required directing traffic in the middle of just a bunch of beach houses and homes back at the edge of a street, but backs up to a beach. It's a really quaint little place. So it is a 45 minute wait. So we're gonna hang out at the beach, which is right next door. We've even got porta potties. <laughs> Not a bad place to wait though. Fantastic little place with both indoor and outdoor eating. So we opted for outdoor and they even have a little spot for pets. They have food for your pets because you can bring dogs. It was neat. We actually saw a couple dogs. Coconut shrimp. Mm. Getting where we've gone here. Our usual key lime for two. Mm. And back just in time for sunset though, there wasn't a sunset view from this side. It was over on the other side. We already had to check out by 10 in the morning the next day, which is no fun. I hate checkout day. Hardest part is leaving. I hate the last day of any trip. It's always so sad. Okay, so even though we had to check out of the condo, we still wanted to make a day out of it and not head home too early. So we drove on up looking for brunch and we actually just kind of stumbled into St. Augustine itself. So we decided to just stick around and enjoy the day in St. Augustine. So you can see the lighthouse right there and then coming through the city some more. This makes a great family time. You got some putt-putt golf over here. Makes a great trip with the kids. Um, nice family vacation because the city of St. Augustine is historical and there's just so much history here to learn a lot about the history of Florida. So here we are, we are about to come up to the bridge and this will start entering the historical city of St. Augustine. So some fascinating facts on the history of St. Augustine. In U.S. history, we really don't talk about St. Augustine much, but it is actually the oldest U.S. settlement. It was founded even before Jamestown and Plymouth, but it was founded by the Spanish. So Ponce de Leon is credited with first finding Florida, and then there were some fights that ensued, but basically Spanish was here and then England was fighting and attacking as well over time, but it was basically founded in 1565 and it continues to hold the same Spanish architecture and that look from those early 15, 1600s while the Spanish were settled here. And interestingly enough, the area of St. Augustine also became a bit of a haven for uh, African Americans and slaves um, who were able to come here with sanctuary by the governor of Florida as long as they pledged their allegiance to the Spanish crown and became Catholic. Um, so many of the British slave owners and plantation owners in the colonies were resentful of this and so you did have that feud. It kind of helped spark some of the Underground Railroad where they would come um, down to Florida for refuge. Okay, so pulling into the free parking to enjoy a brunch at O.C. White's. Here is the free parking and you can just show them your receipt when you're done. It's very hard to find parking in St. Augustine, so this was a treat. Outside. And then here is the little courtyard area where you can sit outside or you can go indoors to eat as well. But you have this beautiful little view of the bay, just a great little courtyard atmosphere and absolutely delicious food. I'm actually filming video, but we'll get the... Okay. Queen's, King's breakfast, right? Or mm -hmm. Queen's? Queen's. Queen's. Shrimp and grits, and an extra side of milk and waffle. Not like I'm hungry. And after the amazing brunch, which I highly recommend, we went for a walk all around St. Augustine. Here is the water 
People can do boat tours. They have this really cool Spanish ship out there. I believe you might be able to do tours on that. I don't know if you can see that. The tour of the bridge with the towers that we came in on. Lots of boats and yachts. Just a beautiful day out on the water. Even have a little putt putt area right in the beginning of the city here. Beginning of the entrance to St. Augustine, kind of the beginning of the city here. And even though we live about three hours from St. Augustine, so I grew up coming here almost every year for field trips at different occasions, but never once have I actually walked up on this bridge. So we decided to go for a little walk, some beautiful views. Look at all those boats and that yacht. Such a great day out on that water. So we're just taking a little tour here, heading up to see the little towers and see what it's like um, on this walking part of the bridge. And then back to walking again, we're heading over towards the fort. So we're just kind of walking along the very front of uh, St. Augustine here when you first come in, these front row of houses and hotels and restaurants. We've got a Hilton Hotel here, and they have to probably keep it in the architectural style of the city, but a pretty neat little place. Coming up on the fort now, it's still in the center. So here's the fort. It's actually the oldest masonry fort in the U.S. It was built, of course, by the Spanish here to protect their interests in Florida and the New World. Now, when the British took over, there was a period when the British held it, and there was even three of the Declaration of Independence signers who were held prisoner there during the Revolutionary War. So from here, you can actually see there are flags that represent everyone who has kind of resided here, including the British flag. city offers many little trolley tour rides. You can hop on a trolley on just about any corner and catch a tour, get some historical information on the city and just stroll around and really enjoy it. breakfast here and a ghost tour that they do for the hauntings throughout St. Augustine which I totally have been wanting to try out sometimes so we might have to do another little just special ghost tour vlog for you. And just lots of quaint little restaurants where it's that same courtyard style and music and just really an enjoyable experience. This is a little city square here where they do a lot of concerts and a little public open space has a little cannon area too you can pose and do pictures with which of course we had to do and now stopping for ice cream love this place they have amazing amazing flavors so we took our ice cream to go and had to have a stroll around more i just love some the spanish style here you have very narrow streets the balconies here is a museum this house was actually first created by a family that was involved in um, leading an exodus from New Smyrna, um, freeing some of those who were held in bondage there. And it later became a famous boarding house. Let's just say some have a lot of fun in St. Augustine. Now we had to start wrapping things up and head back out on the road back towards our home, which is in Tallahassee, Florida. Hope you enjoyed our quick little weekend stay in the St. Augustine area. 
there's a lot more we could have done and shown you, but you know, time runs out. If you enjoy vlogs like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe as I like to do a lot of travel vlogs and I will catch you on the next one.